Hello, welcome to the Thursday, May 12, 2022 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Brad has one of his famous uh, malware walkthroughs, and this time it's the TA578 group that is pushing ISO files in order to spread the Bumblebee malware. Now, what's sort of interesting about this is that they're using threat hijacked emails. What that means is that they actually already compromised a system and then they're checking the email conversations on the hijacked system and are injecting themselves into existing email threads. So you may receive a reply to an email that you sent earlier that contains the malicious uh, document, which of course makes it much more likely that you're going to open the file, in particular since in this case the file is an ISO file. A second sample that Brad is walking through uses a SIP archive that's password protected sort of as an intermediate step before you are actually getting to the ISO file. Also interesting, the actual download links are exclusively using storage.googleapis.com. That's of course a very common location for malware these days, but popular enough for legitimate content that you probably have a hard time monitoring downloads from storage.googleapis.com. And affirming Google's ranking towards the top of malware distributors, Netscope uh, did a report on phishing downloads and saw that not only there was a sharp increase, no big surprise here, but also that one of the techniques that they really saw increasing is search engine optimization techniques in order to improve the ranking of malicious PDFs. And the number one download site here was Google Drive. So not the API, but uh, still Google properties. And security company Veronis has a blog post about how vanity URLs being used by some software as a service providers can be used in order to impersonate respective brands. So you can use these vanity domains to make it easier for people to, for example, to connect to a Zoom meeting that you are hosting instead of going to a generic Zoom URL. You can have something like company.zoom.us followed by a particular uh, short URL. The problem here is that the host name in this uh, type of URL is often really irrelevant. So what happens is, let's say I have a Zoom account, I set up a link uh, to a meeting, and then I may as well use like company.zoom.us instead of www.zoom.us and my meeting will still work. So for example, someone trying to impersonate that they're working for a particular company or such. Remember, we had sort of stories about like fake job offers. They may use a URL like this to essentially make the victim believe that they are associated with the particular company. I think overall, this is a little bit of rediscovery of this story. We had similar problems with like short link services and such, where again, only the later part of the URL really mattered and things like the host name were really uh, replaceable. And remember dependency confusion attacks? The problem here was that an attacker could create a public uh, library, in particular NPM packages, that would uh, use the same name as an internal package and your development tools may pick the public version versus the private version. Well, JFrog thought they saw an interesting attack like this targeting uh, energy companies in Germany. Turned out in the end to be an intern at a company that did these attacks as part of an adversary simulation. 
One comment here I think was very fitting is that some of these attacks, like dependency confusion, well, an advanced attack is really indistinguishable from an intern just running a quick test. And I think similar things have happened to us before where we sort of found some interesting looking malware on VirusTotal that turned out to be part of a penetration test. And also, I remember one story a few years back where a reader let us know that they received a CD in the mail with malware on it, which also turned out to be part of a test. Well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.